be holy. What does that really mean? I read many scriptures and quoted many scriptures. I read so many scriptures and quoted many scriptures and said them out loud. But in the back of my mind, didn't know how to accomplish them. I had them memorized, but when it came to the applying of a thing, I was numb and dumb to it. The Bible says, be ye holy for I am holy. What does that mean and what does that look like? As I began to look up the word holy, the definition that stands out the most is to be set apart. But for many, it's hard to be set apart because through your past, you have been set aside. Whether it be from family, friends, loved ones, you have been set aside. So being set apart becomes difficult, especially become, becoming set apart to be used by God. Because you have been hurt so many times in the past that even saying being used by God sounds like abuse to you. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye set apart, because I am set apart. God is saying and in the back of my mind when I hear that I immediately go into works mode like what goal can I achieve to be holy or what exercise can I put into practice to be holy and I think a great description of that is the one I came up with it's like organic food and preservative packed food. Or food that are full of preservatives. Box canned food. When you change your diet to the organic whole foods, you still have a lingering desire for those preservatives and those box foods, sh sugar laden food, you still have that lingering appetite for those. And a lot of times we stay so focused on, on what we can and cannot eat, i.e. what we can and cannot do, that we are engulfed in a tug of war, our entire walk with Christ. So our entire walk, it's a tug of war of what I can't do. I can't watch this. I can watch this. I can't listen to this. I can listen to this. So we are in a tug of war the entire time. Never walking into the fulfillment or the fullness that God has prepared for us. I'm speaking to me right now. Walking in the fullness. Walking in wholeness. Walking in purity. Because I become so focused on what I can and cannot do that I tire myself out. So eating the organic or the whole foods and getting rid of those foods that we know that are unhealthy. The way to achieve it, I believe, is to begin to pursue the organic or whole foods. Begin to find out information on how to use, how to make recipes, how to prepare the whole foods, and begin to train our palate until our appetite changes. You heard that? Begin to train the palate until the appetite changes. Don't become so engulfed on what I can and cannot eat. Just begin to pursue the whole food diet. And pursuing the whole food diet, 
you will look up one day and have no desire or have no taste for those sugar filled preservatives your palate or your appetite will have changed be ye holy for I am holy it's not for the faint of heart be ye holy y'all know what this is set apart the wheelhouse peace